Okay. All right. So, all right. Here we go. Hair check. Wearing a toque. Teeth check. Teeth check. I ate a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> All the way here. But no spinach in it, right? No. Okay. We have, um, I, I changed the placement of a few things behind us. Okay. Yeah. So, um, just quickly while we're talking about it, I often get asked uh, what that piece is right there with the little house. <laughs> Make the connection, Carrie. Right here, yeah, yeah, this yeah. one. So that is Hannah Lavina, uh, I think Jocelyn. Hannah Lavina and Jocelyn, that is from the Blackbird Designs Honeysuckle Manor book, booklet. And that was stitched by our friend Ellen of Maximum Cross Stitch, and she changed the details in it to reflect her grandmother, I believe. Hmm. Um, yeah. there's Maude. <gasps> You my memory that? card's full. <laughs> You're not so perfect yourself. Oh, God. I know that. <laughs> I am so far from perfect. You have your own quirks, oh, yeah, young I lady. I yes, too. there was some discussion behind the scenes about um, my my long-suffering husband putting up with my, my, my habits of forgetfulness and whatnot. Oh. <clears throat> so, yes, so he is funny. a saint. <laughs> The conversations are always <sighs> whatever. Whatever. I'm sorry. I cleared the memory part. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Until the battery matter. dies, and then it's, yes. you're making too big of a deal out of it. Okay. It's fine. Editing, Caroling. Just stepping in here to let you all know that I have just ordered a brand new battery. So, tick. I'm taking it off the box. I did it. <laughs> Finally. <gasps> Hannah Lovina Jocelyn. Blackbird Designs. This one here that I've moved um, used to be out of the frame. You couldn't see it. That is a carriage house samplings piece called Matter's Choice and was also stitched by Ellen. Um, it was on our original Roxy Floss Co. lentil fabric, which is no longer. Closest to that would be now Pepita, which is a yeah. little lighter, more on the brown side of green. Um, these here, they have a bit of a glare on them, um, but you can sort of make them out. Those are the, um, let's just bring you in a little closer here. Those are the Queens, the Queen series done by Ellen. She designed those and stitched them. Uh, there's Anne Boleyn, Catherine, and Elizabeth. And then there we have uh, Moonshine Cabin by uh, Modern Folk Embroidery, Love Gaines, by Modern Folk Embroidery. Up above we have, uh, that is called Tweet Tweet by um, Macy of Quaint Rose Needle Arts. That one you're used to seeing that one all the time. That is Isabella's Heart by Modern Folk Embroidery. Here we have our, there's the Honey Thief. You've seen mine finished now. Those are Ellen's models. That's the Pineapple Thief. And then the one that's glare, you can't see it because <laughs> there's a glare on it from the light. Those the pumpkin thieves up there with the birds. And that is Angel Armel, also designed by Ellen of Maximum Cross Stitch. And Rules of Life by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. So every once in a while, I should probably let you know what's behind the behind us on the wall. If I missed anything or if I didn't explain anything well enough, leave us a comment below. Now, let's introduce ourselves. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I'm Caroline. Um, this is my friend, Carrie. She forgot. <laughs> Who? I'm Carrie, owner of Roxy Floss. And I'm the owner of Evertote. And we're here with a floss tube today. I think it's probably mostly gonna be me Mm -hmm. yakking away. I think I have a few more projects to talk about than you today. Yeah. Uh, but before we talk about our works in progress, we released the birthday box last mm -hmm. week. So good. Yeah. So we have a new collaboration that's out. It's now available for pre-order. This is um, uh, it's the birthday box stitch along. It's going to be a stitch along hosted by me um, over on my other YouTube channel, which is Off the Grid Needle Arts. And uh, it was a collaboration with Carrie, Roxy Flosco, as well as Gigi of the Artsy Housewife. I'll insert a photo of our chart here. It's called Weeds and Wildflowers. 
it's amazing. It really is. It really, it's so, it's so lovely. Yeah. Um, so let me tell you a little bit of backstory on this collaboration. So we've known of Gigi's charts pretty much since she started designing. Um, Hannah also uh, sent me a photo of her coffee and eggs piece from Instagram. And she's like, look at this, look at this. And I'd already been looking at Gigi's charts and so we decided to bring them in and started chatting and I asked her if she would be interested in doing a collaboration with us and she said yes. So I sent her some photos of fabrics that I was going to be bringing into the shop for Evertote for, for some bags and floss folios and whether any one of those caught her eye. And one in particular, and I'm just going to show you the picture here. So the way that I order our fabrics here for the shop is I pretty much order everything almost a year in advance. So my wholesaler sends me catalogs and I look through everything and usually Hannah and Matt come in. It's not going to lie. It's kind of a fun afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so we go through all the catalogs and we choose our fabrics for the next year and sometimes almost 18 months ahead of time because we don't always have a project in mind. We just know that we love the mm -hmm. fabrics. So I sent Gigi a few photos and one in particular caught her eye and it's this fabric line here called Wabi um, and it's put out by Figo um, which is a rather well known uh, fabric distributor. Um, so you can, as you can see, it has this beautiful moth print and so that was one of the main fabrics that drew my eye as well as this beautiful print over here. So if you're seeing some marks in the catalog, these are the, the basic notes that we take when we, when we do our first run through, sort of calculating how many bolts we want, um, what coordinates we want to go with it, and then we sort of order everything at the same time. Now, you can see <laughs> at the top here, it says shipping February 2024. So we should have had this fabric back in February. So when we made plans with Gigi, this should have been mm. here by now we still don't have this fabric oh, oh dear yeah <laughs> oh, so we had to change the um the idea of what the box would contain so even though it is a collaboration with Evertote um we are going to have bags we are going to have these bags but they're not going to be available until maybe the end of May for um for sale but this was the fabric that inspired Gigi's pattern for the box. It also inspired the um, very special needle minder that's mm -hmm. going to be included in the box. I'll put a photo in here of the artwork for that needle minder. They are done actually. Oh nice. They're ready to go. Okay. So we can uh, we can get our hot little hands yeah. on those anytime. Um, so as you can see it's beautiful. It was designed by a very good friend of Carrie's who I've now gotten to know as well. Her name is Angie. And um, so she did the artwork for that. And so there will be a needle minder. There will be a brand new Roxy Flosco linen mm -hmm. in the box. Yes. So Gigi asked you for, specifically for something glowy and buttery. Yes. That was the, that was the, that was, was the brain. parameters. <laughs> glowy and buttery. Glowy and buttery. And so Carrie developed a brand new linen and Ada buttercup buttercup so it is not for general release yet it's only available as of now in the box um, with because we have a number of these boxes available so we want to make sure we can fulfill all those orders mm -hmm. and then we'll put yardage in the shop probably at the end of May middle of May um, we have been asked like we did with the Valentine's box uh, will we offer the chart and floss pack separately? And yes, we will. We're just not selling them yet. So middle of May, once we've gotten through Stitch North and cleared out, you know, the, the catch up work that we need to do, Gigi's chart for weeds and wildflowers, as well as um, floss packs and fabric will be available purchased to purchase separately if you don't want to buy the whole box. And also she will have PDFs available in her shop. We will not carry the PDF. So the only two places you'll be able to buy the chart are either purchasing the full box or waiting until May and buying PDF through Gigi or Artsy Housewife or physical charts through us. I 
think that's it. Did I remember it all? I think so. Yeah. No even weave. No even weave. It doesn't take the dye the same way. It doesn't. Yeah. No. So we have uh, 28, 32, 36, 40 linen. And uh, we do have 14 count Ada, but not available in the box. We're bringing it as yardage for Stitch North, and then um, anything left over we'll put in the shop when we get back. But we do mm -hmm. have um, 16, 18, and 20 yes. for the boxes. Yep. Okay, cool. You're really gonna be playing a supporting role today because I have yep. a lot of, I've actually, I've really, um, I've had a funny couple of weeks with stitching. I've sort of been all over the place. Mm -hmm because I couldn't really settle on one thing. I wanted to stitch all the things. Yep. And I had a new start. Nice. Yeah, I I believe the last time we uh, recorded, uh, I said that I was going to stitch it till it was finished. Turkish, Turkish <laughs> delight. Right on cue, day three, I'm cursing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can't do this for two weeks. Yeah. And then I was away, so um, for the better part of a week, and uh, uh, went back to it, I think, on Sunday night when we got back. I was like, yeah, no, this has to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't do it for very long. It's just, can you change threads any more often? Yeah, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of changing. And I don't know, sometimes it's just not, it's just not what you're, if you're not feeling it, it's big concentration. It is. That's what I find. It's yeah. not. It's not relaxing, mindless knitting yeah. or knitting, uh, stitching. It's you're on. Yeah. So. And you have to be in the right mood for that. You do. Yeah. Yeah. And we're busy at the moment. <laughs> yeah. We're a little busy. At the <laughs> we're moment. a little busy. <laughs> a little bit busy. We're a little busy. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually probably the only floss tube we're going to do this month. Yeah, that, I mean, that would make sense. I thought about this earlier today. Yeah, because it would be the Thursday that we go actually go to yeah. Stitch on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's sad. I know. So the next time yeah. we see you... We'll be in May. We'll be in May. So I'll show you what I've been working on. Okay. Um, oh, but I did have a little finish, actually. Sort of finish, because it's not finished finished, but I finished the stitching Okay. on my Margaret Meadows mm. um, spool design. So this, the, it comes in, um, you can either stitch the design for the 36 count chart or the 40 count chart. And there were also two options for spool. There was one, um, there's only the one photo on the top here for the ornament spool, but we also were selling scissor holders as well. I'm doing the ornament spool and I finished the stitching oh my isn't it goodness cute? it is Look so it. cute so the oh. stitching for my spool is done it's adorable it is so itty bitty look at Jeanette loves those paler colors all different yeah. tones of paler colors and they're so pretty Love it. yeah and so now I have to learn how to do the nun stitch Oh. That's my next job, and I'm going to tackle that this weekend. Um, Daniel, of course, is done his spool. He is done. He's already working on the next design so that he can make a pin pillow out of the other one. Okay. Um, well, isn't he an overachiever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he was he was really he'd already been researching the nun stitch because okay. he's been wanting to stitch this for a long time, and so he was really ready to go. Can you Cole's notes the nun stitch for me? No. Um, no, I well, have no idea what it is. Not right now. Is it like a hand, oh, I like see what you mean. Like tell you what? Yes. It's now like I get what stitch? I thought okay. you meant. Like teach you how to do it. Oh, right yeah, here. No. <laughs> um, well, you can see in the photo here, and I'll put a I'll put a photo in right here of a close up of the chart cover, so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm showing Carrie. Do you see this around here? Oh, all right. It looks like a blanket stitch. Yeah, it it kind of is. It's it's effectively um, surging those edges in okay. such a way that it, they're not going to unravel. Okay. Right. It creates a decorative edge. Yeah. Decorative edging. That's really pretty. And so, the other thing I have to figure out how to do is um, how to close the spool. And you can see, 
Uh, Daniel and I uh, did a video together two weeks ago where we talked about this a little bit and we're going to get together again next week to do a little uh, finish it up video. Then, see, Jeanette has diagrams in here oh, on wow. how to do the nun stitch. Yeah. And also we recommend a video by Jean Farish. Um, she does a video tutorial on how to do the stitch as well, which Daniel said is very useful. So I'm going to be watching that and I'm going to be using that along with the the paper diagram. I need both. I'm very visual. Yeah. I, I have to see it. And then you can see how she's finished these here. She gives a couple oh, of yeah. options of how to sew them together. Wow, that's pretty nifty. Yeah. Huh. So. I like it. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Um, and a very satisfying little stitch. So mm -hmm. um, I did mine on a 40 count uh, piece of Panettone. And of course, as you can see, it only uses a little piece of it. So I have plenty of leftover fabric to do the other design. But you have to pick which one you do to fit the spool. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. you can't stitch the design that's made for 36 count yeah. on 40 count fabric. It won't fit the spool. Okay. So if you want to stitch on 36 count, you can stitch both designs, but only one of them will actually fit on the spool. I see. So my next task is to stitch the other design and finish it into a little pin cushion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. really sweet. I love it. I'll give you one more look. And this is destined to be on the Christmas tree? Are you going to put this on the Christmas tree? No, I thought I would find a little home for it in here. Mm. Like my cork board where I have all my other yeah. smalls that are nice. in there. Yeah. A little decoration. It's really cute. I love it. So, ready to go. Um, Next, I worked on... Um, my 1897 schoolhouse sampler part four I am behind I am now officially okay. behind part because part five has been released I'm still stitching part four this is my heart is in flames this was the collaboration we've done with Leanne over the last year uh, and here I I made some good progress oh wow see yeah. you did Look at that. Yeah. Isn't it That's pretty? Nice. Yeah, it's um the complete series is popping up quite a bit now on yeah. Instagram and it really is stunning. Yeah. It's delicate and just lovely. Yeah. It's a lot like your what you're talking about, a few stitches here and a few stitches there and change the color and change the color, change the color. But then when you step back and you look at the effect, yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. And yeah, they're not you... big. No, no. But there's a surprising amount of stitching in it. So you don't feel like, you know, it's, you're not sitting down and doing this in an evening. No, <laughs> no, not by any stretch. Yeah. I, I love the coloring in here. In with that blue and mm -hmm. it's such a pretty combo yeah so yeah, yeah it's gorgeous thank you so it's coming along i also hope to work on that this weekend i know seeing everybody's finishes yeah they're quite spectacular <sighs> yeah so this this bag that i have it in this is one of the first bags that i ever made oh really yeah just nice. made a simple patchwork yeah so I don't know how old am I now almost 50 yeah so I made this about 10 years ago oh almost cute yeah well no that's a fib because we had Evertote tags and we didn't start Evertote until 2017 so not quite 10 years but yeah feels like it's been that long um I also worked on talk about Oh goodness. Changing threads. Yeah. Going back to Jeanette Douglas, this piece is so beautiful. Yeah. This is Tapestry of Stitches, Jeanette Douglas. I am in love with this design. Like these blocks down here, I'm so excited to stitch these. I can't even, 
I can't even. So this is all your vegetable up top, up top. But it's so it like it might be vegetable, but how pretty, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm going to say that this is probably, no, this is the vegetables right in here. This is a lot of one over one stitching mm. and I'm stitching on 40 count. Oh, good yeah. times. That's, that's, I'm going to have to eat my vegetables yeah. right there. So at the moment I'm enjoying a steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to eat my Brussels sprouts, but I love Brussels sprouts. So yeah. it'll be fine. And then I'm going to have a big creme old creme brulee. Nice. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, let me see this. So, quick. I um, this is a, a, mm. a Roxy Flosco floss conversion done by Hannah here at the workshop. And the when I, I started this on, I think this was either my January first. No, I started Gwyneth's bouquet for January first. So I started this on January second, mm. and I only did like the green top border. Yeah. Well, I put some color oh, into it. Look at it. Because I really wanted to see the color. So I finished the top border. I just need to finish those crowns that are um, in the corners. And I did mess up. So if you are stitch if you are going to be stitching this chart, fair warning, Jeanette does not make all of her flowers the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they are not the same. The stems are not the same. The flowers are not the same. And I was okay. on autopilot and so I did actually have to rip out the I had to rip out the center blue flower and I think I had to rip out Oh yeah, it's shallower. The middle flower is shallower. Yep. And also my top flower you can't really notice it, but my top flower sits one stitch higher than it's supposed to because I messed up the counting on the stem. And at that point I had done all the stems and I had done the, it, it was too, I, I wasn't picking it all out. And I, and I looked at it and I'm like, no one's going to know it's fine. So I just have to make all the other ones the same, but isn't it pretty? Yeah. It I is. love it. It's great. I love it. So oh, Jeanette Douglas, Tapestry of Stitches. That's like this white work is easy in there. That's going to be simple. Mm -hmm. It's really the one over one lettering. Yeah. And that's not hard. No, no. That's not hard at all. It's just, it's a bit fiddly. Mm -hmm. But once you get into the groove, it's, it's words, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's always fun. Yeah. So. And I mean, this is, this is mostly, I think it might all be actually Bargello, um, Bargello stitching down in these blocks here, which and that's like a satin stitch, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. I love it. So I'm excited about that. So oh. yeah, that's what I've been up to. Fun. And the floss pack is gorgeous. So yeah, that's the schoolhouse. This is the 1897 floss pack and look at this floss pack. Oh yeah. This is the tapestry of stitches one yeah. and the blues and the pinks and the very pretty. ochres. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So what was I saying about it? Uh, yep. <clears throat> you weren't listening to me, were you? No, I was. It was something about the one over chit -chat, one chit -chat. on <laughs> words, but the words, words, words go fine. fast. Yeah. Words go fast. I always like doing words or mm -hmm. alphabets. Yeah. So it is really pretty. Yeah. So many good things to and stitch. And the flush is really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, I was just complimenting Hannah on her color choices for that. Mm -hmm. It was good. Um, so over the holiday weekend, because it was uh, Easter and spring, I worked on two mm -hmm. springy pieces. One was a new start and one was um, another new start that I started not that long ago that I wanted to put some work into. So this is Teresa Kogut, the egg collector. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. It's so good. Isn't it good? You loving that dress? I love the dress. <laughs> I love the dress. So this is again a uh, Roxy Flosco floss conversion. Oh, I didn't tell you about my fabric for the tapestry of stitches pieces I'm doing on Roxy Flosco 
biscuit. So it's a little bit, um, a little pinkier, a little pinkier than panettone. Yeah. 40 count, one strand of floss. Um, so egg collector I'm doing on, I think it's dirty porcelain. Yeah. Dirty porcelain. Look at it. Oh yeah. Look at it. I know it doesn't look like much since the last time I shared it with you, but let me tell you, um, I love the flower. Isn't it cute? Yeah. And you're going to get into some quality fill in with that dress. Well, and that's what I was doing. I did one strand of one strand of grass, one strand of grass, <laughs> one strand of grass, one strand of dress. So I think I did four or five. Oh, only three. <laughs> <laughs> but I did I did the extra um, row of dark pink before I got into that. So that and, and there was the shadow line between the boots mm -hmm. and this is solid fill in. And you know, my family was expecting me to talk to them that day, so. <laughs> but isn't it sweet? It is really sweet. I love that little bit of lace yeah. at the bottom of her dress. Yeah. Which makes her look like she has cowboy boots she on. She does. Look at that. Yeah, that's really sweet. I love it. So I worked on that and then I had to start this. I mm. literally had to start this. Yeah. I have been in my mind. I have been waiting for a piece that would speak to me, uh, for using, um, some of Carrie's Ada that she dies because, um, well, it's fun. It's just fun. I stitched Darling Starling on 14 count Ada and it was, it was such a pleasurable experience fast, looked great, really fun to stitch. And so I've kind of in the back of my mind been waiting for the next project to speak to me that I wanted to stitch on uh, Panettone Ada. And so Kelly Cosford Rye Stitchery, um, this was one of her new charts that she released at market. It's called In the Dale. And I know we've mentioned that we don't, we don't tend to sell market releases uh, we have two exceptions to that. We are going to be selling the Artsy Housewife natural releases as well as this chart here from Kelly because she charted it with Carrie's floss and linen. So it is charted for Roxy floss. Um, so flipping cute. And it is adorable. So it's called In the Dale, as you can see. And she, uh, Kelly stitched the model on 32 count Panettone linen. And so I thought this is my chance because look at it. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. And I just thought this would really lend itself well to, um, a fun stitch on Ada. We are often asked, in fact, that's something I did forget to, t when we speak about our projects to comment on whether we think that they would be easily converted to being stitched on Ada. Oh yeah. We have a Definitely. lot of customers who love your Ada and, um, it's, it's really nice to, I think, give that feedback. Um, many Ada stitchers already know when they see a chart, whether or not it'll work, but, um, just as something we could maybe add in to Why what would we're it talking not work? about. If there are a lot of specialty stitches. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah. I mean, something like, um, Jeanette's design tapestry of stitches is probably one that I wouldn't attempt on Ada. Okay. But that doesn't mean to say that it's impossible, right? You could yeah. definitely do it. You could, you could, the bar jello would be tricky because it would be sparse, but you can always split the strands of the Ada fabric, yeah. right? Yeah. You can do quarter stitches on Ada, but some of the other specialty stitches like eyelets and things like that are, are a little They're trickier. trickier. Yeah. Cause as you know, I, I don't flip my work. I mm -hmm. always start with pin stitches and I pin stitch on Ada. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a little trickier. Yeah. But just, you're it, just piercing the yeah, fabric, right? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the egg collector. Absolutely. There's, there's nothing in there that would, wouldn't work on, on Ada easily. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. So are you ready to see it? I am. Oh, I actually had to stitch something extra in it this morning because I just couldn't resist. Aww. Okay. Let's see. Oh my. Can goodness. you even see it? Look at the little I can. Look at that. 
It's so sweet. Because it was all grass and lake this morning, and I thought, I have to do a duck. I have yeah. to do a ducky. So I did the little baby duck. He's so cute. That's really sweet. I love it on the Ada. Doesn't it pop? Yeah, it really does. It really just pops right out, and it's so fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, you can fly. Like, it is two strands, so it's nice thick coverage, which I think for these more modern charts looks great. And look at how I love the variegation in sage. Yeah. That floss. It's just, it's a pretty perfect grass floss. Yeah, it's I really started good. the lake. Look at the, the duck. I mean, it's just completely charming. I love how the white pops on the mm -hmm. Ada. So, there, look at that. Yeah. So very fun. nice. So, I'm going to be carrying on with this this weekend. Yeah. It's very spring. I mean, look. <laughs> right? It is really it's cute. so cute. What yellow is that? That's haystack. Is it? I yeah. know. Huh. It's not, It haystack doesn't usually um, speak that yellow to yeah, me. Yeah. But it's the combo with the orange. I guess so. Yeah. And that orange is really good. That this um those two flosses together. So haystack is one of Carrie's original like old school yeah. colors from the like a few years ago. Yeah. One of the first flosses that you that yeah, you came up first, with. Yeah. First quarter of yeah. twenty one. And then the orange that the little feet are stitched the feet and the and the bill, duck bill. That's a floss called Rhymes with Orange. And it, they're really, it's a perfect, perfect orange. It's soft. Now I've muddled up my floss packs here. Here we go. Getting all discombobulated. So, um, here it is. See, I've got my... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to manage, you know, if there's only one stitch, yeah. I don't want to oh, unread yeah. my needle. So it's a, look at how good that orange yeah. is, right? It, orange without being It's orange, orange without being pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And with Haystack, it really brings out the yellow, mm -hmm. but it's still a goldy yellow, golden yellow. Yeah. Really yeah, nice, well really that. nice combo. And look at with the like it's just a it's a great palette yeah and I was just talking about this one with Hannah this morning ruddy duck that's the color of the pond the water mm -hmm. this blue we're in love with this blue at the moment yeah she's using this blue in a lot of different floss packs because it's really versatile yeah it's yeah lovely. I was using a lot of mountain range for the blue but that one's it's a little grayer mm -hmm. it's nice yeah yeah, it's a great pack. So that is, that was my new start. Cool. And that was my 14th new start. Wow. For the year. Yeah. I already have 15. I have my next one planned. Nice. 14 count. Candy apple. Ada. I am going to stitch the Satsuma Street Nutcracker. There's a, um, the chart is called Nutty or Nice. <laughs> yeah. And it's a, it's a, it's a Nutcracker stocking. Okay. But I don't want to make a stocking. I just want to stitch the Nutcracker. Okay. And so I bought the pattern. I bought the PDF and I'm going to, I'm going to convert it and I'm just going to stitch the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. And actually it was a customer who emailed us. Um, they wanted 14 count. The pattern calls for 14 count. And then I, of course, had to go and look at the chart. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good chart. I'll insert a photo yeah. here. This is blowing out fuchsia, and it looks, it's casting orange in parts. Yeah. It's usually like when I, usually when I. Blowing out fuchsia down yeah, here. Yeah, post editing, it, it, it'll look a little better okay. when. Yeah, when they That's actually one. see it in real life. But yeah. yeah, Candy Apple is such a good red. It's, it's the one I'm doing. Red. Yeah, it is. It's so good. 
So my friend Neil is just about to start a shop model for us for the Artsy Housewife, nice. the moth, the study, a study in nature. Yep. And so I just kitted that up for him this morning. So yeah, when am I going to start this? I don't know, but I couldn't resist. And I mean, if you want to have a nutcracker done in time for Christmas, well, yep. better start now. Yep. Yeah, that window's going to slam shut if you want to finish gonna be, for Christmas. It's going to be Christmas before we know it. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe it or not, that's what I've been working on. Okay, well, that's uh, your turn. That's something. <laughs> that's something. Uh, that is something. So, yes, yeah, so here we are with Turkish Delight. Um, I am through all the fiddly bits for this oh. page. I have to do the alphabet in the bottom border, of course, but all the the majority of the fiddly bits is done for that page. It's I'm beautiful. pretending that this doesn't exist right now. <laughs> I'm working down. I'm going to work down <laughs> over and then come back up. Whatever you have to do to get yourself through yeah. it, right? <laughs> doesn't exist. No. It's already done. But it's, um, I'm happy with it. And every time I take it out after a little bit of a hibernation, I absolutely love it. Yeah. But yeah. It is a lot. It's, yeah, it's a lot. But now I'm starting to get excited about it being finished. Well, you can, the end is in sight, right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks. So that's that. Yeah. I do have some su substantial errors in it, I noticed. This whole medallion is off a stitch or two. Oh. Can you tell? No. No. That's what I figured. No. So nobody's going to. I figure if anybody points it out, I'll just beat them with a scroll rod. So, <laughs> and that's keep that. the scroll rods attached until you're done. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. So that is uh, Turkish, Turkish delight. Turkish delight, Rosewood Manor. Um, Carrie's conversion. Yeah. Not the called for. No. Not the called for at all. And I got quite a bit of knitting because we're planes, trains, and automobiles for the last week and sitting and visiting. Um, That's a beautiful bag. Thank you. I forget who. Oh, a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag stitches, I think, out of Sarnia. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I completed my yoke on my <gasps> autumn. Wow. Autumn. Autumn something. Autumn something. I don't know. I'll find autumn, it. Yeah. Was, it'll be in the show notes. Yeah. So the yoke's Description done. Description box below. Uh, I know it doesn't look it, but the bodice is done. I just have to start the ribbing. Carrie, so very that pleased is with that. Beautiful. Start at the sleeve. But I think I'm going to do some heavy modification. It just calls for a straight sleeve with a balloon cuff. Yeah. I think I might taper it out. Okay. That's gorgeous. So pleased with that. The Thank color you. is... Yeah, I'm really happy with really it. Really beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And feel this fabric. Yeah. Compared to what I blocked up here. Big difference, eh? Oh, yeah. 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 So... Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Did that. <sighs> um... I've got one sleeve. One sleeve in on DRK Everyday number three, <laughs> which looks alarmingly like number every day. one and number two. <laughs> yeah, number one and number two. So let's yeah. made this spot one the body a little bit longer, and I made the sleeve actually a little bit longer on this one. I like all your stitch markers there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Jewelry. That's right. So that's yeah, that one. That's nice. That is very um, sheepy. Very sheepy. Very, I very actually have sheepy. To, um, there's sharp bits in it, like with the <laughs> oh, yeah. hay is yeah. still in it. So yeah. I did that. And then I started <laughs> another one. <laughs> I didn't bring my exciting. knitting today, actually. I have been knitting. Oh, ooh. <gasps> wow. So this is another um, Andrea Mowry 
Oh my good and gravy. I think, mm, oh my goodness, Look Carrie. at the illumination. I don't know. I can't remember. It was one of her. Um, You'll have to just I'll, send I'll, it to I'll, me. Yeah, I'll send it to you. But yeah, really nice combination of, of yarns. Wow. Of course, I know nothing. Came oh, it's super planned. so fuzzy and soft. Yeah, doing the color work with the wow. um, mohair was very cool. It's held double. Mohair oh. held double and then doing color work with it. That's next level. Yeah, and then there's going to be some color work with um, Spin Cycle. Look at that. That's beautiful. But I love me a good yoke. Oh. Gorgeous. That's that. I started that, I don't know, the night before we left to go away, and I thought, oh, I can't, I can't take a sweater <laughs> with, that needs five yarns. <laughs> That's not gonna. Okay, so I'll yeah. put the name of that. In yeah, the I'll send you the pictures and the names because yeah. everything's. I'm drawing a blank on everything. So I'll post a photo here of the yeah. finished sweater. Lovely. Okay. So I did. Um, I remember I was gonna start the socks for Sarah. Yeah. I have the leg of the first one almost done. So nice. I know that doesn't impress you because you could knit the, a no, pair that's, of socks and like. That's but for huge. me in two weeks yeah. to have a leg almost done. Yeah. That's quite a bit. Um, and she really loves the yarn. Oh, that's good. Yes. Well, she's excited about them. Fantastic. And her Afghan is not done yet at no. all. I haven't picked that up in a very long time. Nice. I know. I saw somebody on Instagram who took the long dog sampler. <gasps> I saw that too. And is I saw it that a, too. a knitting chart. Yeah. It's like, what? It, it, actually it was, um, it was the long dog designer. What is her name? Julie? Julie. Julie. Julie posted it on her feed. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Yeah. Like, and absolutely incredible. I and it's fully doing, reversible. Yeah, they're doing double knit. Mm -hmm. So it's fully reversible. It's above incredible. My I don't know how to wow. do that. But just yeah. astonishingly good. But I think 700 stitches are on her needles. Oh, yeah. That's, That's just when you translate. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Just amazing. Mm -hmm. What a, just a, a phenomenal project. Yeah. That's exciting. I think, I think that's the only thing she works on. Like, I don't think she's a multi project at a time. I think, and I think she's a fairly new knitter too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Like that was what was even more astonishing about yeah. it was that she was a fairly new knitter. So, wow. Yeah. So other than that, um, We've been preparing for Stitch North. Yeah. How many hanks of floss did you dye yesterday? Uh, well, since Monday I've dyed 100, <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to get another 68 done today and tomorrow so that I can start in on the other list of 100 next week. That's hanks of floss? Yeah. Each hank of floss produces approximately 70 cards, eight yard skeins of floss that we wind yeah it's a lot and it's a lot of floss to be honest i haven't started the countdown floss where what do i need Twenty four thousand cards a countdown floss I haven't started that yet and the birthday box floss <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and um by the way sampler september <laughs> uh, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's all good. It's good. I'm fine. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's busy. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. We do have a lot of fun here. Mm -hmm. We work hard. We work hard. The whole team, we all work really hard. So um, those of you who we will see in a few weeks at Stitch North, we're super excited. Very excited. Holy bananas. I can't believe it is right around the corner. I we're going to have a slightly different looking team with us this time. Um, Daniel will not be joining us uh, this this year for the Spring Stitch Norths. His husband got a new job mm -hmm. um, and is a uh, rather important new job. Yeah. And so uh, Daniel is unable to come. So my friend, my good friend of mine, Tracy, who I've known for many years, long, long time stitcher, um, is going to be coming with us. Um, so she's going to be helping out. 
as well as um, a gentleman who works here with us at the workshop. His name is Olani, and uh, he's going to be there as well. So Olani, Tracy, Hannah, myself, and Carrie, we are going to be the Evertote Roxy Floss Co. crew at Stitch North. Yeah. And we can't wait. We're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> If we look a little, <laughs> if we look a little tired by the end of weekend two, yeah, we have enough pep. We have enough. We have more than enough pep and enthusiasm to get us through. Yeah. But at the end of it, we might need a week off. <laughs> That's a bit of a crash. Yeah. I actually feel really good going into Stitch North this year. Yeah. I feel really on top of things. Yeah. And... Last year, I have a feeling we did something last year before that pushed us a little bit to the outer edges of comfort. I can't remember what it was. Well, I remember panic dyeing linen in between the two weekends. Yeah, oh, and Jacob Palooza as well. Yeah. We, we sold a lot more um, linen and floss weekend one Jacob Palooza than we were expecting. Yes. And so then Carrie really pumped it out in between yeah so i think we're this good year this. we are a little more prepared matt is staying um matt is staying here and he's going he and daniel are going to be pressing and prepping linens and adas and even weaves for weekend two yeah um there will be no so, um no, no shortage no shortage for weekend for weekend two. two we have lots planned yeah yeah lots and prepared. um i'd like to say actually that um We'll be bringing 55 count. 56? Lynn. It's actually a 55 count. Um, Kingston. Is it called 55? 55 Kingston, I think it's called. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So so we'll have that. Yeah. That'll be good. That's Not cool. huge quantities, but I should be able to bring a fair amount. How much do you need of 55 count <laughs> linen? <laughs> Only a square that big. <laughs> <laughs> and you can fit a lot yeah. on that little square. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Hooray! I think that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. We will say goodbye. Well. And we'll see you in May if we're not going to see you at Stitch North. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Happy stitching, everybody. We're both, um, I'm pretty active on Instagram, um, at Evertotes. And Carrie's account is at Roxy Flosco. There's a yeah. few dots in between there. Yeah all linked in the description box below. Okay. Have a great month. Okay. Take care. Bye. Happy stitching.